Alright guys, this video is going to be showing you guys how to make a monster statue spawning farm. And this can be really useful because there are 11 statues in Terraria where their statues can be hooked up to wiring to spawn monsters. And these monsters are bats, goldfish, jellyfish, sharks, mimics, skeletons, uh, piranhas, slimes, crabs and birds. Now this video in particular is going to be focusing on the slime statue because it's basically an unlimited source of gel and you can obtain one of the rarest items in the game using this method and that is the slime staff. The slime staff is a basic summoning tool and it summons a baby slime to fight for you and that just glitched out. Oh there we go. So there's the baby slime. So I took inspiration from Yurimir for this video. I took inspiration from his design, so thank you very much Yurimir, your link is in the description, you all know who he is, but check him out anyway. And let us begin. The items we need to make the spawner farm are three slime statues, it is more efficient to use three, however if you only have one or two statues, feel free to use that, it will still work, but it won't be as efficient. Two wrenches of different colours, for example green and red from the mechanic, some wire, some wire cutters in case we make a mistake, a lava bucket, six obsidian, some building blocks, I'm going to be using glass but you don't have to use glass, a switch and two one second timers. To make one second timers you need a platinum watch and a wire and to craft the platinum watches you need 10 platinum bars and a chain. So overall you need 20 platinum bars and two chains and two wires in order to make the two one second timers. So to start off the spawner we need to put eight glass blocks across the floor. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and we need to go four more up on each side. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Next we take the six obsidian and we put it across the floor on the trap and now we place the slime statues on top of the obsidian. We now need to get half a bucket of lava resting on top of the obsidian and to do this we're going to place one more glass block or building block on the left hand side, jump on top of it, go across like this and make like this little catching contraption thing here. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to empty the lava bucket on this bump here and what will happen is half the half the lava will drop down and rest on top of the obsidian and the other half we can simply scoop it back up and get rid of this little holding platform. Okay. So the reasoning behind that is when we kill the slimes the lava is not deep enough to destroy the items so they will just rest on top of um, the items will just rest on top of the lava. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place the one second timers on the top of each prong thing on top of the building blocks and we're going to place the switch here just anywhere like on the glass surface. Okay so I'm just going to light up the area a bit better so we can see what's happening. Okay so get one of your wrenches, we're going to start with the red wrench and we're basically going to wire up the switch to the timer and then to the slimes. That might, that might sound a bit difficult but it is so easy, just watch what I do. You click on the switch with the wrench, go across and up to the timer and then just go across the slimes. And that's all you have to do, that is it, I promise. So when we turn on the switch, the slimes start to die and that is how you get gels and slime staffs. Now we're going to make it a bit more efficient. So to do that, get the different color wrench, which it basically acts as a completely new circuit. And we're gonna do exactly the same but this time we're linking up to that timer. So just go across and jump across and build up this way. And when we turn it on, 
It sometimes doesn't synchronize, so to fix that, just double click, double right click on one of the timers, and you will see that the spawner speeds up significantly, and we are now killing six slimes a second. Using this configuration, it takes about half an hour on average to kill enough slimes to get the slime staff. You may get it in one minute, you may get it in an hour, but on average, it will take about 30 minutes. As you can see, we got our first slime banner. And while that's going, let's try a couple different uh, statues, just to demonstrate the fact that there's various statues to choose from. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it off briefly and I'm gonna replace one of the statues with a piranha. And as I said, you sometimes have to just double click on the um... Oh, the slime staff! That was so quick! Wow! That was ridiculously lucky. So there you go guys, that is how you get the slime staff the slime banner, the piranha banner, the jellyfish banner, the skeleton banner, and some of their respective items such as the bone sword, the jellyfish necklace, etc, etc. If you ever need some gel or some banners, you can use this method. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Be sure to leave a like guys if it was. Thank you very much. I am planning on making a lot of videos over the next two weeks. Revving you guys up for the 1.3 update. Getting you guys excited. Showing more spoilers that's been released recently. I'm just basically going to be making some fun videos for you guys. So thank you for watching. If we could reach 500 likes I would explode from happiness. Thank you so much guys. And yeah, there will be a video tomorrow. So tune in for that. I'll see you guys later. And stay awesome.